Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about 25 past 8 in the morning of January the 8th, 2024. Uh, I am just being productive. I'm going to go to the gym later uh, where I'll be on the exercise bike and doing some more reading. I'm currently reading Mostly Harmless by Douglas Adams, which is very good. Probably a 4 out of 5 and a full review coming soon. I'm also listening to the audiobook of The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Meyer, which is which is I, um, better than the last couple of Twilight books were, but that's because the last couple the Twilight books got fucking stupid. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm being productive, cracking on. I'm seeing the other half later, and we're gonna hopefully make some nice Chinese food. Uh, and then tomorrow, I have lots of calls. That's where I'm at. Dane reads. Hello. It's very cold somewhere in my snuggy thingy I got for uh, for Christmas. It is 9.30 on the morning of Wednesday the 10th of January. Uh, let's see. Well, I stayed at Shay's on Monday night and then yesterday uh, came back pretty early because she had work. Um, I did I did a record set in jog in the gym. I did 6.8 miles and burnt 1,000 calories, which is, as I say, a new record for me. Um, also along the way, I did what would have been a new park run record as well. So looking forward to this Saturday at Park Run, see if I can put that into practice on the natural course. Uh, I'll be writing the report as well. Um, and then yeah, I had a couple of calls too. Biggie's down here somewhere. Where, where have you gone? There he is. I had a couple of calls too, so I ticked those off. My internet connection is awful. It's so bad. It's just, I, it's kind of unworkable. Um, it's getting to a point I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do because if I, I need to keep doing Zoom. And I'm not going to be able to with the, you know, the quality and consistency that I'm currently getting. I mean, I've been using, switching from my uh, Wi-Fi onto my phone's 4G because that's slightly more reliable. But even then, that doesn't really work. So, I don't know. I might have to see if I can get, like, a, you know, one of those portable uh, routers or something. Or, you know, like a USB Wi-Fi dongle. Um... But then it just means I'd have to pay extra monthly on top of what I'm already paying for my internet. And it used to work fine. And then what happened was they uh, upgraded me. And since they upgraded me, my internet's been dog shit. So anyway, um, I haven't read anymore. I, I will be... Um, well, I don't know actually. I don't know when I last updated you. But I finished reading... Um, actually, I probably well, haven't told you. Because before I went to Shays, I went to the gym and went on the exercise bike. So I finished reading Mostly Harmless by Douglas Adams. Four out of five. Very good. And I'm now reading Dodger's Guide to London by Terry Pratchett, which I'm about halfway through. It's all right. It reminds me of a Horrible Histories book, to be honest. Um, it's just, you know, factual information about Victorian London with a little bit of, um, kind of, a few references to Pratchett's book Dodger, which is non-disc world. Um, but yeah, just finishing that. And then I have The Shepherd's Crown, which is the final disc world book. So I'll be reading that soon. And... Um, I think that's all I've got for you. I'm looking looking at productive day today. Hopefully back on the exercise bikes later, so I should get a bit more reading in. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> Yo, hello everybody. It is currently quarter to eleven on the evening of Saturday, the thirteenth of January. I'm up a little bit later because I had a nap earlier. Um, I was in bed quite early last night, but um, I went to park run this morning. New personal best, baby. I did it in 27 minutes, 29 seconds. Um, my previous record was 29 minutes and 47 seconds. So I shaved two minutes off that. Um, and actually it was three minutes off my record for that particular course, which is very exciting. So next week I'm thinking about going to Higginson Park in Marlow and trying my luck there. Um, we will see. Um, I don't have much else to update on really. I've just been working. Uh, cleaning the house is almost done now. Uh, might be seeing Shay tomorrow. It depends when I wake up and all of that jazz. Uh, and I will be going to the gym as well to do an exercise bike, which means I will probably finish the Shepherd's Crown by Terry Pratchett, which has been good so far. And then I'm going to start my ARC copy of In the Jingle Jangle Jungle by Joel Guion, who is uh, the tambourine player from the Brian Jonestown Massacre, which is one of my favourite bands. And hopefully I'll be interviewing him for my radio show as well. So that's super cool. Uh, that all came through from like, you know, a publicist um, promoting the promoting their book. So uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Gonna get into bed soon and sleep. Yeah. But first I'm gonna do some editing. 
Yo everybody, it is um, 10 past 10 on uh, Sunday the 14th of January. Um, more productivity really, I finished reading The Shepherd's Crown by Terry Pratchett, probably a 4 out of 5. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that like sub-series of the Discworld unfortunately. Um, I'm just not a big Tiffany Aching fan, I do like The Witches though so that was cool. Um, but it's kind of bittersweet because it's also the last book in the series. So uh, that's it. I have no more Terry Pratchett to read, which is very sad because I'm a big Terry Pratchett fan. Um, slept a little bit weirdly last night. I kept waking up because the cats kept jumping on me. So I'm probably going to be up kind of relatively late tonight. I uh, went to the gym earlier, hence me doing some more reading. I also started reading uh, In the Jingle Jangle Jungle by Joel Guion of the Brian Jones Town Massacre. So I have this as a uh, pre-publication. Um, book. I'm very excited to read some more of it. Shay got me this. It's very cute. It's a little jar with a match in it that says perfect match. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So um, yeah, I saw Shay earlier. Um, we went out for food at Weatherspoons, uh, which for you Americans is a very cheap pub that does food that also for very cheap that's owned by an absolute bellend. Um, who I believe got, got knighted actually with um, the New Year's honours. Um, so yeah, we did that. We went. Oh, we went to um, HMV and I picked up a couple of T-shirts, some new stickers for my guitar and stuff. And Shay got some bits and bobs. I actually don't know what I did with those. They must be around somewhere. Um, and yes, now I'm just back being productive. I feel kind of ill, which isn't good. I did just eat. Uh, I made this food, which is like. Uh, um, like a noodle salad, spicy herby peanutty noodle salad. Um, it was too spicy, it was so spicy that it left my lips burning. And um, now I have a stomach ache, which I think might be as a result of that. But yes, um, oh, and we played some Wii as well. I started playing Chocobo's Dungeon on Wii, which is really sweet, a very fun game. I enjoyed that. And um, yes, I, I think that's all I've got for you. I guess I'm going to keep this vlog going for another week, um, just because why not? Mm. Yeah, it's a very flattering angle, this one of me, isn't it? Hello, everybody. It is, uh, what is it? It is 10 to 10 on Monday, the 15th of January. I went to the gym today and did a run. It wasn't my best. Um, I'm not quite injured, but I'm pretty sore. I think still still from a park run on, on Saturday. Um, but I still, I did six miles, so it's still I. Right. Um, I also got some fabrics, so I've made some... Basically, I wrap these fabric things around my head so I can so my hair doesn't go in my face. So I bought you can kind of see it there that green thing that Biggie's sitting on, um, so I can cut strips of that out. But I need him to move so that I can do it. Um, I've got a baked potato. Well, it's I guess it's not a baked potato at the moment. It's just a potato, but it's currently baking in the oven. I'm gonna have that with some salad in a bit. Had some other food as well. Very nice. Very nice. Um, Cracking on with being productive. I imagine I'm going to be up late tonight because um, I slept in late. And I have a ton of stuff to do. And I have no more reading to update you on because I won't have read any more until I go to the gym tomorrow when I'm going to read some more of In the Jingle Jangle Jungle by Joel Guion, which I'm very excited for. And do that tomorrow on the uh, exercise bike. Mm. Hello, it's me, ya boy. It is currently 25 past 11 on Wednesday, the 17th of January. Bit of a weird day, bit, bit mental healthy, not gonna lie. Um, but I did have some really nice food and uh, I also went to the gym and did one of my runs. So I think it was my third best run of all time, um, about, about 6.7 miles or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm actually, speaking of runs, I'm thinking about doing the Cancer Research UK London Winter Run. Um, which basically is a course throughout sort of central London. They've closed off some of the roads. They're trying to raise money for cancer research. And it just looks like fun. But also it is 10k and I'm not, you know, 10k is a lot. But I'm thinking about doing it anyway. We will see. Um... A lot of people will be doing it as well, and it's one of those where I guess if I have to walk, I can walk. Um, I run 10k on the treadmill, I just don't know whether I can do it in person or not. So we will see, but it would be for a good cause, and it does look like a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I haven't done any reading, though. Um, I have uh, finished editing and uploaded today's radio show, so that went out with Paiveo here of uh, BookTube fame. 
next week hopefully it's going to be JD Estrada um, I need well I need to finish writing questions for people and set up some calls and I don't know, we will see. I'm going to get a little bit fine, but we will see how that goes. Um, reading wise, I haven't read any more yet. I'm not sure what the plan is at the gym, to be honest. I don't know whether I might do another run um, tomorrow or whether I might do the exercise bike. If I do the exercise bike, I will read some more of the um, uh, In the Jingle Jangle Jungle by Joel Guillaume. Other than that, as I say, I'm just cracking on and being productive some more. And then this weekend, I'm going to hopefully do parkrun, but I don't know where yet. I don't know whether to just do it in Wickham, because it's easy to get to, or whether to go out of my way to go to somewhere new. We will see. I might do somewhere new, somewhere like Aylesbury or Amersham. Um, so I need to look that up and see where things are and how I would get to them, you know. So yes, that's where I'm at. Yo, hello everybody. Um, it is... What is it? Thursday the 18th of January 2024. It's 10 p.m. Um, bit of a weird day. Well, I didn't go to sleep till like 6 a.m. I was working super late. I was trying to get the place ready for the cleaner to come because it has to be tidy for her to be able to clean, you know? Um, and then basically I texted her just before I went to sleep this morning. At, again, probably she was late. It was about 8 a.m. I'd gone to bed, but I hadn't fallen asleep, so I was like, I better text her, and because I didn't want her to, to. A, I didn't want her to come and wake me up, and B, there's no point in her coming because it's very cold here at the moment. I mean, I don't. Hey Google, what's the temperature? The current temperature in High Wycombe is minus two degrees. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's minus six. So that's actually warmer than it was last night. That's in Celsius as well, in case you were wondering. Um, but yeah, because it's below freezing point, my boiler isn't working at the moment because the I think it's the condensate pipe, basically where it blows the steam out or whatever. The water's frozen in there, so the boiler won't work. And there's not really much I can do. I just have to wait for warmer weather because the pipe isn't somewhere where I can go and warm it back up. Um, so it means I can't shower. It means I can't really do the washing up, or I can, but I have to do it with ice cold water, you know? Um, so yeah, I thought there's not much point in having the clean around, so she pushed her back. Um, I did go to the gym today and did another run. Uh, it's my second 10K run in two days, which is pretty good. Did them both on the treadmill. Um, so now I'm just hoping that will translate into reality because I've signed up to do the Cancer Research UK, uh, what is it called, the Winter Run. Um, so it's an aid of cancer research, it's a 10k run through London, um, and that sounds fun. Uh, I've also seen another 10k that's happening in like September that I'm probably going to sign up to do because that one was pretty cheap. Um, and I'm actually going to create an Instagram account for my running I think, so I'll link to that below if I have. Um, it just means I can post a selfie each time I do park run and you know from each event and things like that. Um, because I can't really do that from my main account because obviously people are following me because they want to know about my writing and stuff rather than uh, rather than anything else. So that is the plan. But in the meantime, yeah, I'm officially training to do a 10K. Um, park run is on Saturday. So I may, uh, I haven't decided yet where I'm going to go. There are a few options. There's obviously there's still the High Wycombe, but there's also Amersham, Aylesbury, Marlow and Maidenhead. So the two A's, the two M's. All of those are like a bus ride away from me um, and I want to start doing a bit of park run tourism and you know seeing a bit more of the country and using it as an excuse like I'll go and do my park run at 9am and then I can explore the town I'm in and go around the charity shops and stuff. So yeah I might go and do one of those. I'm leaning towards Amersham. Amersham is one where I don't think there's that much around where the park run is. It's about a 25-30 minute bus so I could even read on the bus you know. Um, but it's, it's not going to be too expensive to get a return on the bus as long as I arrive on time, you know. Um, and because there's not much there, like for the other ones, I imagine Shay's going to want to come with me to like Marlow, Maidenhead, etc. Because we can actually go around the towns, you know. So we will see, but that's the current plan. Today I'm probably going to work all night, um, go to the gym to get a cycle in um, tomorrow, like morning, early morning, late morning, early afternoon. Uh, and then come back and crash and then get up on Saturday to go to whichever park run I decide to go to. Um, I am also going to make a curry in a little bit as well. And I have no book updates for you. Other than that, I'm, I'm um, really cracking on with Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. I'm over halfway through now. Yeah, I'll probably finish that over the next few days. You two alright over there? 
You alright Shay? You alright Biggie? Yeah. Should we zoom in? It's a bit of a mess in here. Biggie's sitting next to the remnants of the curry that I had earlier. We made a vegetable curry. It was delicious. Ooh. Hi, say hi to the internet. Yeah. Do you remember when you were too shy to be in the same room as me, Shay? Now you're just a starey Starrington, aren't you? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, now you're staring too, Biggie. Hello everybody, it is me. Uh, it is currently Saturday the 20th of January at 3.40am. Yeah, I know, it's insane. Um, I did get a decent amount of sleep last night and then, yeah, uh, woke up at like 11pm. So my sleep is properly screwed. Um, I'm currently looking forward to doing park run, but I'm now really scared because... So my plan is, is to go to a different park run, do a bit of park run tourism. Uh, and I've been, I think I'm going to go to Church Mead in Amersham, um, which is just a bus away, so that's fine. But oh my lord, so I've just been googling it to find the Facebook page. So this is from comments from the January the 6th post, first park run of the year. Um, Jeremy Tuckman said, great, great briefings and volunteers, brutal course of your worst nightmares. Gary Luke said, uh, the first time for me, love the intro from the goals, brilliant. The hill climb, oh my god, I won't complain about the steps at Wickham ever again. Thank you, Amersham. And I found a, a YouTube video called One of the Toughest Park Runs in the UK, the Beautifully Brutal Church Mead Park Run. Does this course enter the top 10 of hardest park runs? Only time will tell. So I'm now scared. Somebody has said, brutal but beautiful is definitely at. I tell people if you like a challenge, it's one to do. I'm very scared now. It does have a big hill apparently. Um, I don't. I don't think I've ever run up a hill before. Jesus Christ, that looks insane. Oh my lord! I'm just looking at it now. Jesus. Wait, hang on a minute. Let me just show you what I was just looking at. Here we go. That looks. See, it looks nice. Right. That looks reasonably difficult. Right? It's this bit in a minute. Obviously I haven't got the sound on. This is what looks like, oh my goodness. That, look at that shot. Holy mother of moly. So it might, might be one that I'll go and do just to say that I've done it. But I'm, I mean, I'm not, the other thing is, is I was thinking today, I was like, I'm not in a particularly, um, cause of my weird sleep and stuff. I have actually been doing some jogging overnight as well. Just like jogging around that, the house. So, I don't know. This guy's put third toughest park run in the world. Where, what's he, where's he gone to? Okay, someone said about the lakes. So, I think we're alright. I think it's not this one. Yeah, it doesn't look like that. That does look nice though. So yeah, anyway, I mean, I guess it's... I wasn't expecting to get a particularly good time. I'm not like going for a record time or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I think I will go along to that. But that means I'm going to need to leave here at about... Probably 20 to 8, quarter to 8, something like that. Um, the good news is there's a 30 minute bus there and back. So I'm going to take my book and I will actually be able to do some reading. Uh, also, I've done a lot of filming last night and tonight and a lot of editing. So I'm pretty much up to date with all of my filming. I just now need to finish off filming my uh, year favourites. And I only have like six more to do. I was actually doing that before I started filming this. And then I realised I was on low battery and I had to go and change my battery. So... I might go finish that now, and then I can tick it off. Wish me luck at park when I'm fucking terrified now. I didn't know all of this. I just thought it was just a... Oh, oh well, whatever. What you got there, Shay? Is that a little catnip stick you've got? Is that a little catnip stick? Is that nice? Oh, blurry, blurry boy. Hello, everybody. It is 6.47am uh, on the morning of Monday, the 22nd of January. My sleep has been messed up, man. I was supposed to be interviewing um, JD, um, not DeHart. I know two JDs for some reason. I was supposed to be interviewing JD Estrada um, of BookTube and AuthorTube fame, but my anxiety was really bad on Saturday because of my lack of sleep. And then yesterday, 
Like it got to like 3 p.m. and we were supposed to be calling at 7 and we were Instagram and I was like, I'm gonna have to go to bed. So I went to bed about 3, 4 p.m. yesterday and then got up about quarter past 20 past 6 today because the cats were jumping on me. Um, I made a bit of pro progress like cleaning the house and stuff. The bedroom is now done. I even hoovered, so it's very nice in the bedroom. Um, the office is okay, and then downstairs, well, I've made a dent. My boiler still isn't working, so I need to um, I need to take some photos of it. My mum's boyfriend is going to get me a quote for replacing it, um, and then yeah, I also I guess I need to call the company who manufactured the boiler because they can come out and have a look at it. But I think I just need a new boiler because it keeps dying on me. But I really don't have the money, you know? It is on my list of things I need to replace at this house eventually. Um, I could just do with not having to do it right now because I'm skint and I've got a tax bill and stuff. But anyway, we will see about that. Um, I haven't done any more um, reading because I've been running. I need to actually, I think I'm going to change my approach to... Um, how I read and I'm just gonna have reading breaks throughout the day which is what I used to do when I used to vape and smoke it's just now I don't vape and smoke but I think that's how I'm gonna have to go back to doing it and maybe if I remember reading before bed as well because I'm enjoying running so much at the moment that I'm just running pretty much every day like I'm going to the gym later and I might go on the exercise bike and do some reading but the chances are I'm probably gonna run on the treadmill so maybe that'll be my rule is that I read throughout the day during my breaks unless I, I go on the exercise bike in which case I'm going to do an hour on the exercise bike so I'll do a decent chunk of reading then I did read a little bit on the bus on uh, Saturday morning because I did I went to Amersham to the park run there uh, it was really good Churchmead park run uh, it does the hill is insane apparently it's just the second hilliest course in the UK for park run um, and yeah you do two loops as well, so it's like uh, alongside like a graveyard, which is very symbolic, up this massive hill that goes in two shifts, like you go up a hill and you think you've reached the top and then you've got to continue going up the hill. And then a little run through a, a forest and then back down the other side of the hill. Uh, and then you loop that, you do it twice. So I managed to run it the first time. The second time I did have to walk up that hill. Um, and then I got a stitch coming back down the hill on the other end and then someone overtook me right at the end so I ended in uh, position 56 and my running club vegan runners they give you a shout out if you come in a rep digit so 55, 44, 33 etc so I just missed my shout out and then uh, the lady was very apologetic which is really sweet of her um, she was trying to make me take a finished token and I was like no I want to do it honestly you know um, but yeah it was a really good park run I also got chatting to a couple of the volunteers there because they were vegan runners as well and um, yeah, it was just nice to cross off a third one. So that's a third venue. Um, next week, uh, next Saturday, I might do Maidenhead, Marlow, or Aylesbury, but apparently Aylesbury floods a lot. But those are now my three closest ones, Marlow in particular being the closest of the lot. Um, but I'm saving Marlow because Shay's definitely going to want to come with me to Marlow. Um, but overall, yeah, uh, really nice, really good to do that. And then the week after that, uh, it's actually there's a vegan runners meet up at Wickham Rye which is my uh, home run so I will obviously I'll be doing Wickham Rye for that one um, but yes it was still it was a really good event I did like 31 minutes 30 or something which is actually slightly faster than my average still because obviously I'm competing my I'm dragging my average up from when I first started um, slower than my most recent runs but again a big hill um, and yeah, it was good and there were some really nice photos. I've actually created an Instagram for my running as well called at uh, Dane is running on Instagram. So check that out if you want to follow me. Um, I've got a couple of charity events coming up. Uh, one in particular, uh, where is it? The 25th of February, I'm doing a 10K, the winter run, cancer research winter run in London. And I would super appreciate donations for that if, if you have any money to spare. Even just a pound, two pound, two dollars, whatever. All helps, all goes to a good cause. Link for that below. And I think that's where I'm going to leave you. Um, oh yeah, I made a really nice food yesterday. I made like a herby peanutty noodly noodly salad. Today I'm going to make probably um, I've got, well I've got two things, but I'm probably going to make um, quinoa chili. So I'm going to do that in a bit. I can hear Shay in the bedroom playing with her toy, so that's cute. And that's it. So uh, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.